Hi everybody, this is Miss Overbeck from School 39. This is a quick review lesson of comparisons. This is something that we typically do around Thanksgiving time in the classroom. So you're gonna see some pictures that obviously relate to fall and winter activities as well as Thanksgiving related food. So first we're gonna learn the sign for comparison. You're going to put your hands up one, one way and one the other, and you just rock them back and forth. And that's how we compare. So when we talk about comparisons, we're talking about how things are the same or alike and how they're different. And same and different, those are concepts that we learned last year in kindergarten, and hopefully you remember. You can always use these pictures too to try and help you think of things. So this example says, mittens and gloves are the same because, so I want you to take a second and think about what's the same about mittens and gloves. My idea is mittens and gloves are the same because they both go on our hands. And at any point, if you wanna pause the video, you can so that kids can answer you back or take a minute to answer the adult sitting next to them. And then it also asks, how are mittens and gloves different? So take a second and think of that. How are they different? In these pictures, some of my friends have noticed that the colors are different, and that's absolutely true. And another difference between mittens and gloves is mittens fit all of your fingers in one slot and then a spot for your thumb, whereas gloves have individual spots for each finger. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing as we continue to go through these next few slides. We're going to talk about one thing that's the same or alike and one thing that's different about each of the items pictured. And again, I'll pause for a few seconds on the video before I give my response, but you can also always pause the video on your end for as long as you need to to get that participation. So a pig and a cow are alike or the same because, and a pig and a cow are different because. A pig and a cow are alike in one way because they're both farm animals. And a way that they are different is that a pig is pink and a cow is usually black and white. Apples and oranges are alike or the same and apples and oranges are different. Apples and oranges are alike because they're both fruit and they're different because apples are red and oranges are orange. Snow and ice are alike because, and snow and ice are different because, this one's kind of tricky. I think snow and ice are alike because they're both cold, but I think they're different because I think of snow as being soft and fluffy and ice is hard. Windows and doors are the same because and different because. Windows and doors are the same because they can both open, but they're different because a door you can walk in and out of, and a window, while you could crawl through it, it's probably not the safest idea. 
All right, here's our friend Brennan Bear. We all know him well. So here's what I'm gonna have you do. I'm gonna have you pause on each slide so that you have time to talk about what's the same and what's different about each of the words that are on the pictures. I'm just gonna scooch myself out of the way a little bit. So what I'll do is I will name each of the items on the page. Then I would suggest you pause your video and once you've given your responses, then go ahead and restart the video and you'll see Brennan will eat the foods as I give my answers to the questions. So our first one, we have a picture of a turkey because remember I said we usually do this around Thanksgiving. So we've got a turkey and the words we're comparing are pencil and crayon. So think about how those are the same and how they're different. And then for our corn picture, we have a candle and frosting. And think about what do those have to do with each other? How are they the same and how are they different? A pencil and a crayon are the same because you can write with both of them, but they're different because a pencil is made from lead and a crayon is made from wax. Then candle and frosting, this one's tricky. I'm gonna say candle and frosting are the same because they both go with a birthday cake. Because you put a candle on top of a frosted birthday cake. But they're different because a candle is something that you light on fire and then blow out and make a wish. And frosting is something that you eat. All right, we have pumpkin pie, and our words to compare are lemonade and milk. And then we have some bread, and we're comparing lion and tiger. Lemonade and milk are both the same because you can drink them, but they're different because lemonade is yellow and milk is white. A lion and a tiger are the same because they're both animals that you might see at a zoo, but they're different because a lion has a big mane of hair and a tiger has stripes. Our sandwich, we are comparing kite and balloon. And with our cheeseburger and fries, we are comparing beach and pool. A kite and a balloon are the same because they can both fly or float in the air, but they're different because a kite is usually some sort of shape or design. We could see diamonds, you might see a butterfly. I've seen some that look like a dragon. Whereas a balloon, it tends to be that same rounded shape and it's filled with air. Beach and pool. Beach and pool are the same because you can go swimming in both of those places, but they're different because at the beach we have sand and a pool is something you might find at your house. Spaghetti, we are comparing day and month. And in this lunchbox, we are comparing June and December. Day and month are alike because they both have to do with a calendar, but they're different because a day is only 24 hours long but a month is made up of multiple days. There could be anywhere from 28 to 31. Oh, we have to find the trick. Have to find just the right spot. There we go. Then we have June and December and June and December are both months in the year. So that's something that makes them alike but they're very different in terms of weather. June, it's usually sunny, it's 
sometimes we get some clouds and rain, but in December, that's when the snow comes and it gets cold. All right, on our donut, we have bus and train. And on the cookie, we have nest and house. A bus and a train are the same because they're both vehicles or things that you can ride in. But they're different because a bus goes on the road and a train goes on track. Nest and house. This one was kind of tricky for me. They're alike because they both have things that live there. Birds live in a nest and people, we live in a house. But they are different because a nest is usually found in a tree and it's made up of sticks. Whereas our houses, they're usually made of bricks and wood. All right, so we're going to give you guys a chance to get up and move, do a little dancing. If you are at home, you can look around you and see if there's anybody there, if there's anybody standing to your left or to your right. And if you are in a classroom watching this right now, then look at your friends and see who's on your left, who's on your right. If you're standing in rows, Remember rows? That was when we were standing all in line. Are you in the same row as one of your friends or are you in a different row from one of your friends? And then thinking all the way back to kindergarten, remembering that we used to talk about syllables, how we could break up a word. So think about how many syllables are in the words cowboy, boogie, shoulders, Hoe down and butterfly. Right now, I just need you to get real loose. Get comfortable. Grab your loved ones or grab your love partner. And if you're by yourself, no worries. Just follow after me. Yeah. Gonna do the two step, then cowboy boogie. Grab a sweetheart and spin out with him. Do the hold down and get into it. Take it to the left now and dip with it. Don't throw down, take a sip with it. And lean back, put your hips in it. Let's have some fun. Uh, to the left, to the left now. To the right, to the right. Now take your left hand and put it on your side. Gonna roll your shoulders, do the slip and slide. This next part's my favorite part of this time to shine. Gonna do the two step, then cowboy boogie. Grab a sweetheart and spin out with him. Do the hold down and get into it. Take it to the left now. Don't throw down, take a sip with it And lean back, put your head Sit it, it's simple, you can do it Slide to the left, slide to the right Now cool down, have a good time Slide to the left, slide to the right Do the butterfly, have a good time Round, round, round and round you go It's time to show out right now And take to the floor Gonna do the two steps Cowboy boogie, grab a sweetheart and spin out with him. Do the hold down and get into it. Take it to the left now and dip with it. Don't throw down, take a sip with it. And lean back, put your hips in it. Take it down now, take it, take it down now. Take it down now, take it, take it down now. Bring it up now, bring it, bring it up now. Bring it up now, bring it, bring it up now. Take it down and Chris. Bring it up now, Chris Cross. Do whatever you like right here. Just have fun. Gonna do the two step, then cowboy boogie. Grab a sweetheart and spin out with him. Do the hold down and get into it. Take it to the left now and dip with it. Don't throw down. Take a sip with it and lean back. Put your hip. Sit it. 
not so bad. That was that, that was not so bad, was it? That was not so bad. That 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 was not so bad, was it? That was not so bad. That was that that was not so bad, was it? That was not so bad. That was not so bad, was it? Gonna do the two step, then cowboy boogie. Grab a sweetheart and spin out with him. Do the hold down and get into it. Take it to the left now and dip with it. Don't throw down, take a sip with it. Now lean back, put your hips in it. All right, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed. I want to thank Ms. Caminetti, who helps to make all of these fabulous slides for us. I don't think I ever give her credit at the end of my video, so now I have. I hope that you guys are all doing well and that you enjoyed this, and have a great day. Bye.